Alice. A woman in the land of Teyvat, said to be the mother of Klee and a very powerful yet goofy mage. There are many mysteries surrounding this woman, such as her appearance, her motives, and the biggest question of where in the heck is she gone? Today, I have a general idea of where I think Alice could be right now as we speak. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you enjoy Teyvat's facts and wisdom. Also, be sure to join our community Discord, where we discuss Genshin's mystery and lore with all kinds of other people. You can catch me on Twitch too, where I stream Genshin. Links to these will be below. Alright, with that said, let's open the Teyvatchenary and dive right into this. First and foremost, let me say, I used to believe that Alice was the Crimson Witch. Until we got some evidence pretty much screaming that La Senora was the Crimson Witch. And at one point, I also thought that Alice was one of the Harbingers, Columbina to be exact. However, I think there's another explanation as to why she's not with us and why she hasn't made any appearances yet. The reason I believe this is because she's not even on Teyvat anymore. Now, this can go two ways, in which the first one I believe she has ascended to Celestia. Around three years ago, before the main story of Genshin begins, Alice states that she needs to go somewhere dangerous, thus leaving her daughter and the people of Mondstadt in the process. Now, in order to ascend to Celestia, quote, it is said that only mortals who perform great heroic feats can ascend to Celestia and achieve godhood, where they will watch over their people from above. We know for a fact how powerful Alice is due to the dialogue we've seen from Albedo, and describing her as either as stronger than an Archon or just as strong. She also has quite the reputation of being a fierce mage, along with also knowing a load about alchemy. Another really small fact that I don't think adds a lot of merit, but it could depend on how you look at it, is that she attempted to make a giant catapult to Celestia by using Hilatrils. This shows she has fascination with Celestia. If we take a look at how Vanessa ascended to Celestia, she was a very fierce warrior. And with the help of Barbados, they worked together to take down Ursa the Drake. Due to her freeing her enslaved people, she was given the opportunity to journey to Celestia. From there, she is seen as a falcon who watches over Mondstadt, thus making her the Falcon of the West. Guhua, an Adeptus, is another individual who has ascended to Celestia, and after he became a star in the midst of a purple haze. So now we have a general idea of what happens after an individual ascends to Celestia. They apparently live there and look after Teyvat. It seems they also have the ability to transform themselves into other enemies, as well as the Archons. Vanessa takes the form of a falcon. Guha is a star. Barbados originally was a wind wisp, but transformed himself into his bard friend. And Morax has the ability to change himself from a dragon and into another human form we see now. It would not surprise me if Alice has transformed herself into another being just so she could watch her daughter and her friends from Mondstadt. She still loves them very much after all, and mentions during her recording on the Golden Archipelago that she watches from afar. As to what Alice transforms into is quite the mystery, though I will say maybe she is a lot closer than we think. Like on a backpack for example, that dangles every time her daughter runs around causing trouble. Yes, I am insinuating that Alice could be Dotoko, but I know that seems a little nuts. Maybe she could be the weird merchant that sometimes comes from the events. There's also the idea that the Golden Archipelago was already pre-planned long ago, and currently Alice is being held captive at Celestia. There is a well-known Genshin theory that the gods of Celestia aren't exactly who we think they are. In fact, there's speculation going around that the Tsaritsa is rebelling against Celestia. I can get into those another time, but bottom line, they could see Alice as a threat. That's one part of this theory, though. There's a second part that's outside the world of Teyvat. In Alice's Golden Archipelago dialogue, she states, In another world, there are tales of wondrous islands named after golden apples. Known by many names, it embodies the majestic vistas conjured by human fantasy. Right there, Alice mentions Other World. These worlds right here tell us that she has the ability to travel to other worlds. There is even further evidence of this with Barbara and her idol magazine. Now with that said, here comes the second possibility of where she could be. Alice could be in the Honkai universe. Mahoyo has already confirmed that the Genshin universe and Honkai's universes are connected. Now, I have not played Honkai, nor have I read the manga. 
However, I was skimming the manga chapters for research, and I did come across something very interesting. I found a screenshot of a woman named Alice, and she seems to have similarities to Klee. We've seen references from Genshin in the Honkai webtoon, so this doesn't seem too crazy. As a person who hasn't read the Honkai webtoon, nor played the game though, I would love for you guys to let me know what you think about this claim. I just thought different worlds, and the fact that Alice has similar appearances to Klee could lead to something. That's just me though. Well, that wraps up my short analysis as to where Alice could be. Who knows truly where she could be, but I think she's either ascended to Celestia, or she's ascended and now she can travel to other worlds. Alice really is one of the biggest mysteries Genshin has to offer us, and eventually I want to crack this case. In the future though, we will find out. I'll bet she was right under our noses the entire time. Anyways, thanks for opening the Tevachinary. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And with that said, I will see you soon for more Genshin Impact content.